A year ago, one of Team USA's dress rehearsals for the World Junior Championship was an exhibition against the under-18 national team. One of the stars that night was Matty Beneers, a strong-willed, smooth skating forward who turned 17 barely one month earlier and proved himself against the nation's best in two older age groups. For us, it was just a fun, fun day. I mean, we get to scrimmage with the World Junior team. Uh, it's pretty exciting for us. Um, we didn't really expect much out of that game. I think we just kind of went out there to work hard. You know, he's going to be a high draft pick coming up this year, but most importantly, he really fits this tournament well because it's a speed tournament. He's got a lot of speed in this game. Matty Beneers has played with that pace and passion since his first days skating on the family's backyard pond in Hingham, Massachusetts, and at rinks near and far in the years since. I remember saying, uh, this kid is why they have sports like hockey and football, because <laughs> he, was, he was just rough and tumble and, you know, big smile on his face every time he was doing that, you know, and you, you didn't want to be stuck in a house. Uh, with him. <laughs> Christine and Bob met as undergraduates at Cornell, where Bob played football. After Christine earned an engineering degree, Broadway was her next stop. Not to watch shows, but perform in them. So you can imagine how Christine and Bob reacted when Maddie told them he wanted to leave home at age 15 and join the U.S. National Team Development Program. Christine, an attorney, moved to Michigan with Maddie and continued working remotely, while Bob, who worked in electronic sales, remained in Hingham. You certainly want to give them every opportunity and not stand in the way. The sacrifices have been worthwhile. Maddie could be the first American chosen in the 2021 NHL entry draft, but not everything went according to plan amid the turbulence of 2020. Veneers had planned to attend Harvard, 20 miles from the family's home. But as the Ivy League moved toward the eventual cancellation of winter sports due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Maddie looked for another option to play. He found one in Ann Arbor, thanks to an assistant coach on this year's World Junior staff. Chris Mayotte uh, reached out to us and, and um, asked if we'd be interested. And so that's, we had a relationship with Chris when he was at uh, Providence. So we felt very comfortable with him. I think we had known him probably four or five years. Um, in and out of hockey rates, so we we jumped at the opportunity. Kind of fell on Michigan, and they kind of had everything I wanted. They had the academics and the hockey, and they were going to play, and we have been able to play, which which has been great. So uh, they kind of made that move, and it's just been a really great experience so far in Michigan. I tell them whenever we talk about these things, like every hockey game that you play this year is a gift, and I think it'll really make him appreciate um, every opportunity they has to do that um, throughout this year and, and probably beyond. Maddie has enrolled in pre-med classes at Michigan, an ambitious path, but perhaps not surprising for someone whose mother applied to law school while performing in a chorus line on Broadway. Theater remains a major part of Christine's life as a performer and instructor. And yes, she taught musical theater to her children, Gianna, Bobby, and Maddie. I was in like the sound of music, it's like a little bowl and uh, I did some like Jersey Boys, like <laughs> some scenes from the Jersey Boys. So have you ever done any singing for your teammates? <laughs> Very minimal. <laughs> we need some more sourcing on that one. When he got to the USA camp there, one of their first few meetings, um, the co Coach Appert, he said, he asked everybody to stand up and tell the team something about you that no one knows. And Maddie told everybody he, he could sing. <laughs> and uh, so Coach Appert made him sing on the spot. And uh, we all laugh about it now. He was telling us afterwards and I said, why would you tell him? Said, I don't know, it's being honest. And, and then he made him sing in front of the whole team. So yeah, yeah. mom was very happy. Yeah, no, he loves, he loves to sing. Did you know what he sang, what his go-to song was when Coach Afford asked him to sing? I think it was probably the Jersey Boys uh, track. What do you mean probably? <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Something, well, I... Yeah, it was you amazing. You <laughs> <laughs>